a little about myself. My, my work as a journalist, my time as a lawyer. But just to leave no stone unturned, and despite the risk of massive humiliation, I left it up to my family and friends to give you the full story. Megan is a fun-loving, intelligent, crazy person, but in the best way. Megan's good on her feet. You know, she's very quick, she's very intelligent. She's silly and, uh, and giggly and laughing and, and making jokes and laughing at herself. She has such a rare gift that she can combine silliness with these crazy ninja litigator skills. Humor's been a gift handed down to me from a long line of great women. On my mom's side, it started with my nana and my mom has got a great sense of humor. She is a lot like me in many, many ways. She is on the outside what she is on the inside, but she doesn't ever act like a phony. I've never seen her be a phony, except when she's making fun of me. She does that a lot. She was a fun kid. She used to do silly little things, like she'd put her hand on her head like this, and she would dance around to Bye Bye This American Pie and Yellow Ribbon. She loved those two songs and sang them incessantly. I came home from school one day and told that all the good-looking girls were aerobics instructors. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I guess I should do some aerobics then. Three months later, she started teaching aerobics. <laughs> oh my god, he remembers that too? Yeah, she used to wear, you know, the whole the 80s gear, the, the leotards and the crazy, yeah. I used to make fun of that a little bit. And then I did that for 10 years. <laughs> Megan Kelly is a terrible cook. She called and she was asking about cooking and lines and said, the first thing you need to know, turn on stove. <laughs> She's not a great cook, but she is a great project coordinator. She can manage it, she gets the kids in, and in the end, everyone has fun, and the food is edible, usually. Of course, her biggest blow was her father. It really, really, that, it hit us all. My dad died when I was 15, and he died 10 days before Christmas in 1985 without any warning. You know, I remember vividly the the moment my sister came into my room that night, because I was asleep, um, saying, wake up, Daddy had a heart attack. And I rushed downstairs, and you know the ambulance had already gotten there. Uh, my mother had been trying to revive him, and he never, he never came back. It was the saddest night of my life. That was a very horrible, horrible night. But I grabbed them all together in a circle, and uh, I said, we will be the Kellys that your father knew and what we were meant to be. And you know, it was a pep talk about who what we were as we were left and what we would carry his, his being with us. He was with me for 15 years and he's still with me. Megan is uh, pretty amazing as a mom. She really, she's got three great kids. They're awesome, they're dynamite little kids. I love my children and I'm honest with them, and I try to set a good example for them. We'll be sitting around the room, and she'll come out, and she'll find some game with, like, a couple of toy soldiers and, you know, pieces of paper, and she'll just invent some game. What I think everybody should know about Megan is that she's genuine and generous. Every girl should have a girlfriend like Megan Kelly, somebody that'll tell you to stand up for yourself and somebody that will be on the other line when you're crying your eyes out. She's caring and sensitive and funny. She's got a tremendous amount of integrity, and I think that, that's, that will never, never cease. But then I look at her, and I still see the little girl with the, with the needle on her head dancing downstairs, you know, so it's exciting. Thank you. Thank you. That was a rough one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thank you all. You, you. Turn on. My sister Suzanne, she's not here today, but I love her too. She's at home. We'll see her shortly. But you guys, thank you so much for participating. That that could have been far worse. <laughs> <laughs> and there, you know, the beauty of being in this job is I have the microphone every day. <laughs> so there could be revenge, you know, when they're not here and able to defend themselves. She does kick you under the bus every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> she said if I keep doing it, she's going to give me the finger. <laughs> On the air. Don't be telling that. <laughs>
Love you all. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.